In this video, we'll graph the linear equation y equals 7x. We're going to do it two ways. First, we'll put some values in for x here and get the corresponding y value. That'll give us the points we can just put on our graph for y equals 7x. Then we'll check our work with the slope-intercept formula, make sure we got it right. So let's start with x. Let's put 0 in for x. 7 times 0, that's 0. How about 1? 7 times 1 is 7, and we could put negative 1 in. Negative 1 times 7, that's negative 7. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 7x. So let's start off with 0, 0. x is 0, y is 0, that's right there. So that's our first point. How about x is 1, y is 7? So we go over to 1 and then up on the y-axis to 7, right there. We could just graph with two points. I like three because if I made a mistake, this will catch my error there. So I have negative 1 for x, negative 7 for y. We go over to negative 1, down, and we have our three points. And we can just put a line through these. And this is the graph of the linear equation y equals 7x. Let's put arrows here to show it goes to infinity. And you could put other values in for x, figure out y, and they would be on the line here. Let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So for the slope-intercept formula, we have y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, that's the 7, but b, we don't have anything. So let's just call b 0. That one really won't change the equation, but now we know that the y-intercept is 0. We can come over here on the y-axis, and we find 0. That's where the line should go right through the y-axis, and there's 0y. That's our y-intercept. For the slope, it's helpful to think of it as 7 over 1. It's the same thing as 7, but now we can say it's rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept here, we rise 7, and we run 1. And we see our point right here on the line. Likewise, we could go down 7 and go to the left, go to the opposite direction, and that's right on our line. And again, we could keep going down here, but we've kind of run out of graph paper. But this confirms that we did the first part correctly and that we have the correct graph for y equals 7x. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.